The switch itself looks quite nice. Um, for the gang, if we pop that over, uh, the wiring's pretty straightforward. Your forward just bring in neutral and live to give it power. That's all you need if you aren't controlling any um, wired switches. And then you can send out up to four switches on the side there to uh, give them power. The buttons themselves aren't, don't move, but they have a haptic feedback uh, when they're powered. All right, we'll have a look at how you can configure the lights in the application. Uh, then we can have a look at, I'll show you on the wall, just what it looks like in use. And at the end, I've left some supplemental video just of the install process, uh, if you wanted to see. So when you load the app, you see all of your rooms and things that you have as per normal. And I have five of these switches installed. So for example, I've got one in the kitchen. So there are the individual bulbs. Uh, and you can see the switch has now appeared there. If I tap on the switch, I've basically been able to set up a bunch of scenes. All of the bulbs in there are LifeX. So if I tap on this one, you can specify if it's a LifeX light or a non-LifeX light. A non-LifeX light is a wired light. You can then, when you click on the button, you can control a light. So you could scroll through your bulbs and pick a light that you wanted. You can control a group which is basically one of the rooms that you might have set up. A location, which in my case isn't useful, it's just the whole home. Or a scene. Uh, I have found scenes to be the most useful. So you can specify different combinations of rooms and bulbs and brightnesses and things and have those all turn on. That's probably the best benefit I've had. Uh, next up, I'll just show the switch being used in a room. And at the end, I'll leave some supplemental footage of the install process. Uh, I forgot to show the configuration of a physical bulb, so I'll do that here. Uh, in this adult bedroom, I'm going to tap on the switch. This top one here, spotlights. I actually, in the end, wired up two halogen spotlights onto the same switch. So in this case, I just go, that's a non-LifeX light uh, and spotlight. So that top switch now controls physically wired switches. Uh, some halogens I have, and the remaining three are just scenes. So here's what the lights look like at night. Uh, it's really nice. You can obviously see the switches and things that are happening. <clears throat> this is the switch that I have in the kitchen. Um, so for example, this button over here puts on just a little bit of light so the kids can come and find food at night but without uh, the light shining around and waking me up. Uh, there is a the button over there, this turns everything onto full, which includes like all the strip lights and the clock and the down lights and things. So. I can go off with the bottom one. Next one up is a little bit of light. This one is a scene that runs over uh, a minute to turn the lights on more slowly. So that's in the morning when I come in. I don't want uh, the lights just to come on from dark to full. It's a bit much, so it just turns on and it gives your eyes time to get used to the light. Uh, and full. So I've turned the switch off with the wall. <clears throat> I've checked with the multimeter to make sure that there's no power here. Uh, and you can see that the top and bottom switches have just got the two wires, uh, one through core, uh, and then a connection onto the one position. So they can just channel power through. And then as you'd expect, the two-way switch has got um, circuit closed there for the normal switch use. And then when it's off, it sends power to the other switch. Um, for this switch, I will basically just close the circuit and leave it there so that middle switch has no effect. I'll leave the other switch at the door as the one that controls, so the LifeX switch won't handle two-way switches. So I'll basically just turn it into a one-way by closing the circuit there and then um, popping the switch into there. So I've disconnected the cores, so that's the center of the switch, uh, which is the power in, and I will feed that to the... Um, it goes into the power inside on the switch there and the neutral that was currently just terminated into one of the loops on those switches which are basically just for holding the wires that don't actually do anything uh, so that'll be the other side okay so neutral goes to neutral in power and then the two individual switches the halogens are basically powered connected up um, 
the switch in the center here was for the LifeX bulbs above, and that's a two-way switch. Because the switch is in that way, the um, bottom connector had power. I basically just connected that to live. I'm going to disconnect that one, which will make it a, uh, a one-way switch effectively. So the switch here will uh, not control the LifeX bulbs on the roof, and the switch at the door can do that now instead. Alrighty. So I've thrown the power on now, and you can see that if I touch that switch, that the halogen works. Next switch, next halogen. So there's two physical things connected there. Oh, you can see the old Logitech pop button there. Those don't work well anymore. The software isn't good. The um, flick buttons are good though. So we're over there. That's flashing um, red. So it's now we can set that thing up. Uh, next up is to hold all four buttons to uh, get the reset going. So it's going to be on Wi-Fi. Pull those all down. So that resets. Green blinking. Uh, so now I should be able to go and set it up in the app. So I'm over here now, and you can see that there is a LifeX switch over here. I can join the Wi-Fi. This is pretty much as you would do with the bulb. If I go across here, uh, LifeX, you'll see I've got a little dot on the app there. Uh, that's because I'm running the test light version that had access to scenes. The one in the App Store didn't have scenes yet. It's obviously a bit of a work in progress. If I now go plus, add a device, there's a new switch. Uh, get started. Pick the Wi-Fi. And we're set up. To set the location, home. This is gonna be in the adult bedroom. And let's call this bed switch. That's the switch over the bed. All right, so we can uh, start configuring things. We have a look at the switch at that thing now. Um, it shows that correctly, two switches are on. Uh, and even there, so I can then go and adjust those things from here. But we can now get those switches going. So you may remember that the top two switches were the physical ones. So we can say that, okay, that top switch is not a LifeX light, and that is, oh, that was Alexa recognizing the uh, switch now. Uh, let's call that Mark Halogen. Then a second one, which we will call Monique, halogen. Uh, let's just attach something to the third one. Right, so let's say that that is a LifeX light, and we will set that to the adult bedroom. Ooh, can I make the whole bedroom? I can't. I want a group. Adult bedroom. Go. Um, is it wired to the switch? No, and save. So I'll set up just those three to um, give a little demo of what's happening there now. All right, so I have the switch connected. I've configured it in the app. That worked first time and worked pretty quickly. Uh, I'm recording on the phone, so I'll use the app on the iPad to turn things on and off. So if I come over here, we can see that there is... Um, quite a you know you can see I've got quite a lot of uh, bulbs and things but adult bedroom uh, if I tap on that now you can see that there's the bedroom switch in there if I tap on that you can see that there are the bulbs on the side or I can just turn things on and off from there so if I turn them everything on and both of those halogens turn on at the same time and if I go to the uh, switch 
here and it'll turn them both off at the same time. So I've got good control over those mechanical switches. Um, or I can go to the detail side over here and turn them on one at a time. Oops. Uh, and control the switches there. And then there's the bedroom side of things, uh, which we can see is a Lifex light. Um, so what I'm hoping then is that if I come over here, we can see that that turns the lights on and off. Uh, halogen, halogen, those respond immediately. A bit slow they must be using the land pro i mean the http protocol not the land protocol mm, it's a bit slow but nonetheless so now i have this one over here controlling the main lights two halogens and i can set up the fourth one over there uh, and then the next switch